Are you thinking about relocating to the Phoenix, Arizona area, but you're curious about the Phoenix housing market? Well, welcome to our video where we talk about the Phoenix housing crash of 2023. In the most recent years, we've had major rapid home growth due to several reasons, which we will touch base on, but are we going to see a dramatic turn in 2023? We will get into all of that for you today. So go ahead and stay tuned and let's get started. Johnson here from the Home Smart Valley Solution Team. And if this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in learning anything and everything about Arizona, eat, sleep, work, live, play, whatever it be, definitely tap on that subscribe button and click the bell when it pops up to get notified anytime a new video comes out. Honestly, my team and I, we get calls weekly from folks just like yourself thinking about moving to the Arizona area. Absolutely love it. So if that is you and you want to know more, shoot me a call, shoot me a text, shoot me an email, snail mail. I don't care how you want to get a hold of me. I can't wait to help you out because I got your back when it comes to moving to Arizona. Let's get into it and talk about what to expect with the Phoenix housing market of 2023. So the Phoenix real estate market has had rapid growth over the past couple of years. Um, how home pricing has just gone quite literally, no, no pun intended, through the roof. And there's several reasons for that, which we are going to touch base on. And these reasons will even play into what to expect in 2023. So first and foremost, the mortgage industry and you can your financing options. Interest rates were so low that it attracted many, many, many buyers. We were looking at rates in the twos and even very low 3%, which gave you an incredibly low monthly payment. Even though the housing pricing was going through the roof, you could still afford it on a monthly basis with your low interest rates. So second thing that was driving pricing up is uh, economics in general. The first thing that you learn in economics is supply and demand. We had very low inventory. There was no inventory, but based on the interest rates and other factors, there were just a huge demand of buyers out there. So when you have no inventory or low supply and you have huge amounts of buyers or heavy, heavy demand, pricing just goes up and up and up. And we saw that. In fact, a house would hit the market on a Saturday morning and you'd have 50 visitors before noon and 60 offers before 10 a.m. This and I'm talking offers, cash offers. I'm talking offers over asking. I'm talking offers that were waiving contingencies, such as inspections and final inspections and appraisals and et cetera. Crazy things that I would never suggest doing in really any market, but to be competitive, that is what happened. So all of that created a whirlwind or frenzy of housing rapid growth that we saw over the last couple of years. But what do we want or what shall we expect for 2023? That's what we want to talk about. Are we going to see the crash everybody is talking about and the news is mentioning and my neighbors are saying and your friend's friend's mom is talking about what to expect? All right. Well, first and foremost, let's talk about the um, median home value. Now, this is median. This isn't average. This is the median home value in the Phoenix area. There was a median home value of 366000 from the end of January 2022 to the end of January 2023, which was an actual increase of 21%. How is that possible, Tyler? Well, you have to remember these numbers were through the full year, January 2022 to January 2023. Our rapid growth that we saw went through June. It was almost the day, like the last day of June. We saw rapid, 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 rapid. And it was like, bop, screeching halt. Just everything came to a stop. So all of these numbers include a big portion of that rapid growth throughout the year. Let me break it down a little bit more for you. Um, average housing price. Now, this is going to be based off of single family homes in the Maricopa County. I'm not now including condos patio homes, townhouses. These are strictly single family homes. So these prices, if they seem heavy to you, are just strictly, again, single family homes in the Maricopa County area. Average from January 2023, sorry, January 2022 to January 2023 went from 633,000 to 608,000. Not a major drop there, right? Now, again, half of that year is part of the major growth that we had that includes the $633,000 average there. And at the end of January, 2023, let me point out, 
January 2023. I'm currently in February of 2023. So these numbers are accurate. They are on par with the day that I'm talking right now. I also want to point out I'm in a sweater, February 2023. Now, I'm not outside shoveling snow like most of our eastern partners there, but it does get cold in Arizona. So if you don't think it gets cold, I'm sitting here in my house in a sweater right now. I will actually post what our weather is going to be like for the next week. Now, it's not in the zeros or below that like you might see in the Dakotas, but it does get cold here. So uh, ask me that. Let me know what you think about the weather out here and if that is something that you are attracted to. It's not 120 degrees year round, but we do have year round activities that you can play. So let me know what you think and if that's one of the reasons that you're thinking about relocating to the Arizona area. So with that being said, we saw housing go from 633,000 to 608,000 at the end of January 2023, which is only, only a 3% drop. So this isn't the so-called crash everybody out there is seeing. And I can tell you right now, so I'm not a big fan of statistics. They are a good idea of where the market is at and maybe a genuine um, idea of knowledge on what to expect the market to do. But I'm actually living a day-to-day -day life as a realtor. And I will tell you what I'm seeing and what this helps me understand the market is going to do in the future. It was almost... January 1st, it was almost New Year's Day that I started getting phone calls hour after hour. People that I have talked to in the past, buyers that were all hurry up and wait. Interest rates, I wanted them to go down or the market, I'm waiting for it to crash. Well, I think they realized that they're not getting the crash that they expected. Did we see a cool down? Absolutely. We saw a 3% drop in the average price of a single family home in the Maricopa Audi area. Now, I also want to point out Maricopa. And the reason I'm pointing out Maricopa County is because I want to show you how big my demographics here are. I know I've lived in certain other states like Tennessee. There's plenty of counties. There's county after county after county throughout the entire state. You can quite literally throw a rock from one end of a county and get it to the other end of a county. That is not Arizona. We have a handful of counties throughout our entire state. And Maricopa County is one of the largest and it encompasses the biggest portion, if not all of the metropolitan area. So I have a large spectrum of homes that I am talking about here that have created these averages. I'm not talking about a handful of them, all right? So with that being said, what do we expect through 2023? Again, it was almost January 1st that my phone just started ringing off the hook with buyers that I've been talking to in the past that were just, hurry up and wait. I'm going to wait for the crash. Well, that crash did not come. Now, please tell me what your definition of a crash is because the real estate market doesn't truly have a definition of a real estate crash. It is really dependent on what you believe a crash is. I believe we're in a cool down. I believe we're in a correction period, but it could also be a crash based on how somebody else wants to look at it. So um, what we have noticed anyways in the cool down. So last half of 2020, sorry, 2022 had higher interest rates, a heavy growth of inflation, and a typically slower end of the year. So the winter time and Christmas time is always a slower time of the year for our industry. So that is one of the reasons we saw these decreasing in prices through that last half of the year, where the first half was still seeing that rapid growth. At the end of the year, though, it was only a 3% decrease, which, and again, my opinion, doesn't determine a crash. So now I am seeing a lot of these buyers come off of the sidelines and start really being interested in the market. Now, where do we sit? Interest rates, are they still higher? Absolutely. They are definitely higher than what we saw the past couple of years. Those were historic rates that we may never see. If we do, it's definitely going to be a decade or two before we see those again. But even though the feds keep raising interest rates, the rates are reacting positively, not only to the bond market, which is all the stuff I'm not going to get into, but uh, just the industry as a whole. And they are now quite floating around that 6% range, which is a great average. And I'm hoping that we see the average, the interest rates drop into the 5.5% by mid-year, which will be great for us because once springtime comes around, which is a busier time of the year, that is going to attract a lot of buyers. And I actually think and my true prediction is that we're going to see a slight increase in pricing over the springtime. So if you are expecting a crash, um, again, depending on what your opinion of crash is, I don't think that we're going to see it in the Phoenix market. Now, there's several reasons for that. One, uh, again, my day to day tells me that we are starting to get busier and we are attracting buyers back into this from the sidelines. 
um, that all those lumberjacks coming out of the woodworks are ready to start buying again. Two, with the heavy demand of buyers coming in, all right, and what we've seen in a correction of pricing, plus there is more housing on the market. I think currently there's 6, 16,200 active listings where, again, this time last year, there was about 10,000, 10,500, which is an increase of uh, just a huge increase right there. So you can do the math on that. So more inventory, favorable interest rates, not historically low, but favorable interest rates and a busy time of the year is going to create some activity. We're going to see a small boost in the economy, right? And there's several other factors that help me believe that we're going to get an uptick or at least stay consistent with our housing market out here. First and foremost, we have a growing population. As I discussed, there's a lot of folks that want to come out of here and live in Arizona for several reasons. We do have year-round weather that you can do uh, just about anything in. You don't have to shovel it, right? We have a strong and even growing job market with a lot of industries. We have tech companies coming. Lucid, uh, the electric car company has a plant out here. Uh, Tesla is opening a plant out here. Um, many other tech companies are moving to this area because we have uh, also another factor of why I think our strong market, our market's going to stay strong is because we have a affordable housing market. It's easy to bring employees out here and not have to deal with Silicon Valley prices where they have to quite literally, I think there was an article a few years ago that I read where Google employees were camping in the parking lot and RV homes because it was cheaper to do that than actually own a house out there in the Silicon Valley. Where Arizona, we have a very competitive housing market, much cheaper than some of our other Texas partners, California partners, stuff like that. On top of that, um, it's just in general, a growing population, which is going to attract, again, supply and demand. When you have a lot of buyers coming in, that is going to either mellow us out since we have a lot more inventory or even give us a slight uptick in the pricing. So crash, I don't think we're going to see it. If you think I'm wrong, leave a comment. If you have any opinions on it, leave a comment. If you're interested in more, I do these videos weekly for you to keep you in the knowledge of um, our beautiful state of Arizona, our different cities and what to expect, what uh, everything has to offer city-wise or hobby-wise or restaurant-wise, anything that might help you make a decision on if Arizona is going to be the right place for you because I've been there, I've moved to other states, and I find value in knowing what I'm going to be doing um, is the right decision for me. So that's what I'm here for. If you got questions, answers, comments, concerns, whatever it be, shoot me a call, shoot me an email. I got your back when it comes to moving to the Arizona area. So you guys have a great day. Thank you. Let me know what you think. Subscribe, tap the bell, get notified when videos come out. We'll keep rocking.